How do? Do you notice anything off about this picture? Have a closer look. You can't normally see the water line here. Um, because when it's running, the water line's up here. I've just walked in here, noticed that the old head scratching for a minute. Look down at the sump, you can see the water level in the sump's really high too, and the sump pump has failed somehow. So currently, the tank is getting almost no filtration. So we need to have a look and see what's going on and see if we can fix it quick. So first thing to do, get the plug, try out a different socket. See if anything comes back to life. So this socket, I know it works because that runs the heaters and I can see from the controls here that that's still on. Nothing. Okay, now we'll check the fuse. Swap this out for a new one. So now we need to look at what's going wrong with the pump. So I'm going to get it out there and let's see if I can see anything. So this is the busted pump. I can't see anything physically impeding it anywhere. Um, no smell of burnt out anything, but it's certainly not working. Um, so. I just so happen to have a spare. Now this was one where, I can't remember which one it was, but one of them didn't work properly and I had to send it back. And instead of asking me to send it back, they just sent me another one, which was really good. Um, but it wasn't the motor that was broken, so I'm hoping I can just swap over the motor part onto this one, or just swap them out and then we'll be good to go. Because I'm sure it was something to do with one of the seals on a, uh, the neck this bit here uh, where it, it meets so if I just swap them over we should be okay. So this pump it's a Jabo or Jabo Ecotec um, I can't really remember how big it's meant to be. I think it's five and a half thousand litres per hour or something along those lines. Um, but yes, so I'm just going to take this rubber seal gasket thing, swap that over. sits on there, everything else should just go straight back on to the new one. He says, hopefully. So, it should just now be a case of stick that back in, connect it up to the return pipe and the sump, which will send it back to the tank, and we'll be good to go. Right, let's get it back in there. Right, moment of truth. We're expecting to see bubbles come out up here if this works. So. And that's why we don't throw away old broken things. Right, get this tidied up. So I've got the old motor here. There's nothing that I can see, um, but I'm just taking it's got a back cover off. I'm just taking that off. And it is giving a bit of a whiff of like, burning. So I'm assuming it's burnt itself out, which it's not meant to do because it's got an auto shut off if it runs dry. 
and there's more than enough water in there that it wouldn't be running dry. So it's obviously malfunctioned somehow, but what I'll do is I'll just take off as many bits as I can. Right, so this is the impeller. So this is the impeller, um, which runs on a magnet type deal here. And it's just that little bit of plastic that's throwing 5,000 litres of water back into the display tank. But sometimes you can break a fin or the, the pin itself will snap, so that might come in useful. So I'll clean that up, we'll keep that as a spare. Um, if that hadn't worked and I didn't have this spare one, I do have a backup pump that pumps about 3,000 litres an hour. Um, which I've shown you before, that's the pump that I used to do my water changes from outside. So that would have been more than enough to run this system for a few days until I got yet another one. And if that didn't work, then I have a bunch of sponge filters that I could have brought upstairs, plugged them all in with air filters here, put them in the display tank, put them in the sump. That would have kept things moving along. Um, and what I would also have done... Oh, I can't find it. Uh, but I've got a couple of big long air stones, so I would have put them underneath. So you see in these sections here, that's where I've got my biological media. Now, I could have put um, sponge filters in the display tank and that would have kept that water perfectly healthy and, and fine. But the beneficial bacteria that lives on the surface of the biological media down here, that would have probably died off in a couple of days. Um, some people argue it will die off in a couple of hours, some people say you get a day or so, but either way it wouldn't have lasted until Mr Amazon managed to bring me a new pump. So I would have got one of those long air filters and put them down at the bottom here so as the air, would, the bubbles would travel through the biological media and there's another section over there that you can't see. But that would have kept the water moving through here. I would have had the top off this water with some of the, the tank water to keep some food in there for the bacteria to eat. Um, but I would have been able to figure something out. I've got a big enough arsenal of spare parts and extra bits and bobs everywhere that I could have jerry-rigged up another small pump possibly to keep that overflow going. Um, but that's all you really need to worry about is what your, your media is going to do. You don't want to let, let your media get dry or to stop it getting food anytime soon. And that's when you run out into problems and you might have a filter crash. So that pump is a Jabo pump, J-E-B-A-O, Jabo, Jabo. I bought it four and a half years ago and that's the first time I've ever had a problem with it so I think that's probably quite a good return on that one especially as when they sent me the first one originally it had a little crack in the casing uh, and I, I let them know they just sent me out another one, a full complete pump. Um, didn't even ask for that one back or anything, so I've had two all this time. So if I get another four and a half years out of this one, then I'll be quite happy. So, yeah, check it out if you were there. But the point I'm trying to make is you need to have some backup plans for when things go wrong, because things do go wrong. Uh, not everyone's got a fish room like me with tons of drawers full of junk and spare parts that they can just whip together and put something back and get it running. But... Everyone can have an air pump or a little power head to keep some water moving through your media or just circulating until you can sort it out properly. Um, consider things like looking up your local fish clubs because you can make some contacts there that you can reach out to in an emergency, um, whether it's by a Facebook group or something like that. There's, there's people that can help and are willing to help. The community is really normally pretty good. Um, but yeah, that was it. I'll just check out the discus casually breeding in the background. I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, so if you've not clicked that subscribe button, give it a click. That would really help me out. And we'll see you next time, I guess. Well, let's have a quick look at these guys. So this is spawn number three. We've eaten the last two after a, a day or two. So I might get my button gear and build them a little cage to protect these eggs and see how we do with that. And that's then basically saying, beat it, we're having sexy time. So, with that, I'll leave them to it. See you next time. Bye.